There are more than 2,500 employees in the Edmonton Police Service. The vast majority of these employees do extraordinary work, day in and day out, under sometimes challenging circumstances. Their good work is recognized and appreciated by the communities we serve and by myself personally as the Chief of Police. Unfortunately, in large organizations like ours, there are always individuals who choose not to follow the rules and who ignore directives, common sense, and even the law for their own personal benefit or advantage. These employees undermine community confidence and they undermine the good work of their colleagues. In the spring of 2013, the EPS received information from a citizen that one of our police officers was selling steroids to other police officers. We immediately notified the Director of Law Enforcement of this information and ACER, the Alberta Serious Incident Response Team, took over the matter and sub subsequently conducted a thorough independent investigation. Close to the same time, EPS issued a service directive to our employees warning them that use or possession of steroids without a prescription was strictly prohibited. The investigation initially revealed that one police officer was allegedly selling steroids to other police officers between 2007 and 2013. Over time, further investigation revealed that a second police officer had allegedly been selling steroids to other officers between 2006 and 2008. There was no indication that either officer was selling steroids outside their immediate circle of associates. Both police officers were arrested today by ACERT and charged under the Controlled Drugs and Sub Substances Act for trafficking. I have ordered that these officers be immediately relieved from duty without pay.